So like a phoenix from the ash, the FAMAS has risen again and actually became relevant. Can you believe it? The FAMAS is actually relevant again. But what's going on guys in the works? And today we are looking at my little hidden gem of the close quarters, um, just in general, the FAMAS. And this was a gun that I think a lot of people forgot about. And in my quest to find something to counter those AEKs, those F2000s that I just kept getting pwned by, in the close quarters you know maps I was like what can I do here there's got to be something to give me a fire rate edge and I was look looking through everything I'm like wait a second you know I completely forgot about the FAMAS I mean it's the highest fire rate assault rifle at a thousand rounds per minute and a lot of you guys are like oh the FAMAS that's so overpowered well if you recall when Carcan first came out people hated the FAMAS they had 30 rounds it shot at the speed of light the recoil was super super predictable but they nerfed it and they nerfed it bad in fact I would say it was the biggest turnaround I've ever seen in a video game the FAMAS went from being what I considered one of the best and you know most versatile assault rifles to being hands down the one of the worst and it was just crazy to me that dice got so extreme that they nerfed it that bad but um, the FAMAS was really that bad until the last patch where they brought it a little bit back down to earth now the FAMAS still has a 25 round magazine but it still shoots just as fast and the recoil is not as bad you know the, it's really good up close it's got a lot of recoil at range so it's a little bit harder to take out long range opponents so I don't worry at all about heavy barrel when I first picked this up I had heavy barrel grip and the hollow side on it and after a while I was like you know this is good but I think it could be better so I took off the the uh, heavy barrel and I slapped on the laser sight and the rest is history this is my favorite hands down favorite setup for close quarters it is the FAMAS with heavy or with laser sight and grip um, optical side of your choice and use the magnum the magnum is the, the the pistol I've been using because they are going to be eventually nerfing the the Rafica and you guys know I love the Rafica if you watch my videos but I've, I've decided I'm gonna have to wean myself off of that if they're going to nerf it so uh, I've been trying out some of the other pistols I've had really good results with the magnum just because it does deal so much damage that it makes it a little bit easier um, to take out people that the FAMAS can't seem to finish off because it does have a smaller magazine on it now um, to me, the FAMAS right now is the close quarters master. It is my hidden gem. It's my, uh, you know, my little secret, and I'm sharing it with you guys because a lot of people have forgotten about it. I mean, I think a lot of people still think that, you know, it sucks because um, people really, really used it as a crutch when the when car cam was out. Everybody used it, and then they nerfed it, and I had not seen the FAMAS at all. In fact, I had considered doing an underused weapon series on it um, just because it hadn't been used at all, but. Um, like I said, in close quarters, it actually does really well. The fact that it is a bullpup rifle means that you are going to get some sort of hip fire bonus, which is a pretty big advantage already. Slapping on the laser sight is going to make it even better. So those thousand rounds per minute are going to beat most weapons. And even at longer ranges, the advantages I see from the FAMAS is that it holds its damage much longer. You know, like those high fire rate carbines, like the uh, you know the MTAR, the ACR. All those guys, they don't hold their damage as long as an assault rifle. So this actually gives you something that can compete, at least in my opinion, with the AEK. Now, the MTAR was another weapon that I really like using if I'm going to go with the engineer. But really, I don't find much reason to use the MTAR over the FAMAS in terms of if I'm trying to do really, really well. Now, I do enjoy using the MTAR. Don't get me wrong. I like variety. But in terms of being the best all-purpose close quarters weapon, you can't do much better than the FAMAS with laser sights. So, um... I personally run grip. I mean, that's going to come down to if you're willing to get rid of that little, you know, the accuracy that you lose from using grip. But I feel it makes it a lot easier to control. And since you're in close quarters, you want to be more precise. I mean, it's all about hip firing and being on target first. And um, that's really, look at that. Look at that. That is just ridiculous how good this thing is from the hip, how good this thing is just putting lead down range and um, I've been having a, a lot of fun with this I've actually discovered that I can enjoy close quarters when I use this weapon because I was having a tough time because you know what I was doing wrong is I was playing a little bit too aggressive with weapons that didn't really fit you know um, I was trying to snipe and sniping is really difficult on these maps I'm not gonna lie me being someone who I consider myself a little bit above average in terms of sniping if you saw my last video the JNG 90 video um, I talked a little bit about you know how uh, sniping in close quarters is just a little bit more tricky than what I've been uh, 
what I've been accustomed to, but um, luckily I've toned my style back a little bit. You know, I've, I've leaned on this FAMAS and it's held me up because the FAMAS actually is, you know, something that can compete in close quarters. And that's, it makes me proud to say that the FAMAS actually has a role in uh, Battlefield 3 because it can justify how many kills I had for, with it before the patch because, um, Honestly, one of the most embarrassing things about my battle log was that I had so many FAMAS kills and people were like, how do you use that piece of crap? And I'm like, well, you know, you may not remember this, but once upon a time, this weapon actually had a purpose in the game. And you did not see many people floating around with this bad boy after the after they nerfed it and they nerfed it bad. Um, but if you're looking for something to beat those AEKs, to beat those F2000s, to beat those MTARs, the FAMAS is your go-to weapon. It's going to be good up close, it's going to be good even down those long corridors, and it is going to rip through people's flesh. It will tear them apart with its thousand rounds per minute. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick look at the FAMAS. Try out this class. This is my go-to class right now in close quarters. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. But I will see you guys next time. Peace.